Hi there, kids. Welcome to your math workshop for today. We are going to continue working on some of our sticker station story problems, but this time I've got a little bit of a twist. But let's look first at our story problem. Kira went to sticker station and bought 32 star stickers. The next day, she bought 24 more star stickers. How many does she have now? So I want you to think for just a moment how you might figure this problem out. I'm going to suggest one way. So if we were going to use our sticker station, remember that 10 stickers is equal to a strip and we can represent this by just drawing a line. So if we have, Kira has 32 star stickers, I know that there are three tens and 32, so I need three strips and two ones. But the next day she went out and bought 24 more star stickers. So I know that there are two tens in 24, so I can draw two strips and four singles. So now that we have this here, how should I put, what should I do next? Well, I like to add my ones together first. So first I'm gonna say two plus my four is equal to six. The next, I would add my tens together. So I know that three tens is equal to 30. So I would say 30 plus two tens, which is equal to 20. And 30 plus 20 is equal to, that's right, 50. So now that I've done that, I need to add these two together to get my total. So I have 50 plus six is equal to, you said it, 56. So Kira has 56 star stickers all together. Now, now that she has all these stickers, she needs to put them in her sticker book. So in order to put them in, my, in her sticker book, I'm not gonna draw all the fancy stars. I'm just gonna represent it by drawing a line across. And remember, in her sticker book, each sheet contains a total of 100 stickers. So that means that each row is worth 10. So in order to mark 56, I'm going to draw a line here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now she has 56 stickers in her sticker book. Now I'm curious, how many more stickers does Kira need in order to fill up that entire page? Remember, the entire page is equal to 100 stickers and she already has 56. How would you go about figuring that out? I want you to take just a second to think about it. Some of you might think, well, I, since I've been working with tens and ones, I could just count the empty stickers that are left, counting by tens and ones, right? Or empty spaces. So I could say, let's do it with another. Could say, count my ones first. One, two, three, four. I know there's four single stickers. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So that represents 44. So she needs 44 more stickers. Let's write this into an equation. So we know that the whole page will be equal to 100 stickers. And she has 56 stickers. And we need to figure out what she's adding to get to that. So we're gonna add in here, we figured out that she would need 44 stickers. So 56 plus 44 is equal to 100. Well, some of you might say, you know what? I like doing it working that way, but I also really like using number lines. So let's try it on a number line. So first I'm gonna start by drawing in my number line. And I always need to start with this first number. So we know that she has 56 stickers. Now I wanna do jumps that are friendly numbers for my brain and we've been counting with tens and ones. So I think I'm gonna just continue doing that. So I'm gonna start by doing a jump of 10. When I go from 56 plus 10 more, I know I get to 66. 
I'm gonna do another jump up 10 and I'm gonna keep going until I get to 100. So 66 plus 10 more, 76. Gonna do another jump of 10, 76 plus 10 more is 86. And I think I need to do one more jump of 10. Well, that's a funny jump, but you get it. 86 plus 10 more is 96, but I'm not quite at 100 yet. So I need to jump by ones now. 96, 97, 98, 99, and I finally land at 100, and I know this is four all together, so let me add them all up together, and I can count by tens to do this. I can say 10, 20, 30, 40, one, two, three, four, so 44 all together. So that's how you can figure out how many more stickers she will need in order to get to 100. So for your work today, I've included a worksheet for you to continue working on these types of problems. You might choose to work on an open 100 grid like this, which I've included. If you have a printer, you could print one out. If you don't have a printer, you could use the interactive 100s chart that I've included a link for as well. Or if you'd like, you can draw a number line on paper, or you could even use the interactive number line that I've included in the link as well. All right, I look forward to see what you're working on. Go ahead, mathematicians, let me see your work.